Hey guys, Target Cycling FPV here, and this is my wife Samantha. And you guys, you guys uh, know Samantha from uh, those of you that get uh, shipping done here because she handles all the shipping, and she has been having a blast, right? Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So, so, anyways, this is the first. Sam and I. Sam has asked me to teach her how to solder. Um, we have a ton of work to do for a local school, and we have to solder a bunch of these cables. Uh, there's three different colors: black, red, and yellow. And Sam's like, "Hey, why don't you teach me how to solder?" Now, I am. Very happy to, I'm, I'm very happy to do this. And uh, so, but it actually gives us a good chance to go over soldering and the lessons in general that we're gonna do for uh, one of our new curriculums from UVTCA, uh, which is, as you know, some of you know, is our other company that we've created uh, where we have the nine acre facility and it's all a training center. And we finally got contractors back in after all the COVID stuff to get in there and start finishing it up. So we're getting our curriculum done for the school and one of the modules is on soldering. So this is a great way to kick into it. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and split this into a three screens. Okay, so we're gonna go, um, we're gonna start with uh, my screen. Let me do this, mine, and then, then you'll see mine, and then you'll see uh, Sam's over here, and you'll see us in the middle. So this is what you're gonna be looking at, okay? Uh, to differentiate, this is mine, and you'll notice because we have the two orange pieces here, and uh, I have the white plate for the cyclone sticker in the middle. And then Sam's is on this side, and Sam, uh, she's got her plate and her practice board and everything on that side. So, and then you've got us in the middle here. God, my nose is itchy, sorry. Um, so we're gonna go over a few things, some of the basics, right? Because I gotta teach you this, you've never done it before. And literally, she has never done it before, so this is gonna be interesting. Uh, and if you see anything violent happen, please call the police. All right, so uh, let's get started. First thing we're gonna do is let's go over your soldering iron. So grab that soldering iron out, okay? And just make sure you can put it under here so that everybody else can see it too. All right, so the, what we're gonna use is we're using one of our standard uh, soldering irons that you can find on our website. Everything that's here is under our soldering tools on the website. So there's nothing fancier here that we have. These are pretty affordable uh, kits. These actually have the soldering iron and just go ahead and grab your heat gun too. And they have the heat gun that comes with them as well. So you guys can see that we have that. All right, and we're gonna be using both of these actually, okay? All right, so rack that back up. Okay, so on our soldering iron, uh, the one Sam's using was actually used yesterday for the first time. Uh, in a, uh, I was helping a, a teacher from Humble ISD, and we were doing a drone kit for the for his students. Um, so uh, we use a pretty pretty uh, regular tip, uh, pretty uh, regular rounded tip, and uh, that comes in a kit that we sell again on our website under soldering tools, where you can get a bunch of, uh, you can get like ten different tips, and I use the, uh, you can get a whole bunch of these, right? So these are the different kind of tips that you'll get in the kit. This is a super fine tip here; it's pretty sharp actually. If you focus up with it, it'll hurt. Um, because that's going to be for finer soldering, right? So that's like soup. That's well, like little. You know, like when I take a, a processor off the board. Yeah. Okay, so something like that with very, very fine details. Okay. What you're going to be soldering today is these uh, pretty much pads this size, and so you want to go with something that's easier because these, while they're really awesome, they don't move the heat as much. Okay. Because okay. it's now you can uh, these. This is pretty much what we're using a rounded tip like this one, and they're more common. Then you can get these flat tips here. Um, so you've got a, a variety of tips to use, but uh, when I'm doing my work, and I think I've got mine sitting somewhere here, you'll see here that this is the one, this is my fine tip soldering uh, tip that I use when I'm doing, like when I'm changing uh, MOSFETs or something on a flight control or on the ESC. I'm going to put these up for now, but you can, again, you can find these tips. You can find a 10-pack on our website. Um, the second thing we're going to be using is uh, we're going to be using the solder that I uh, chose. Uh, we had a company, we went out and tested a bunch. You guys have seen my soldering video or, or the product videos in the past. Uh, I went over that. So here is the, uh, the solder we're going to use. Um, it actually, we have the, you know, this is the uh, 6337 uh, solder right here. It's a uh, uh, 0.8 uh, millimeter diameter. Super small, super thin, burns very easily and sticks perfectly to the board. Uh, if you're not using this 6337, now, there's a ton of 6337 out there. You guys go to Banggood and you'll find them. I've got some here and it sucks. So I mean, like it, it's not all solders made the same. Uh, my favorite solder in the world is Kester solder. So I went after something that did just as good as it. And I, when I found one that I could do that put my name on it or our company name on it and also provide the same quality as a Kester one, that's what I went with. It gave us a good price and we carry a ton of these. So if you need any solder, uh, we've got that as well. Uh, the soldering tools, uh, the soldering iron. The next thing we're going to be using um, is this. Mine is Velcroed here, but these are going to be little copper sponges. And what we're going to do with that, what you do with this, Sam, is no, that's stuff on there. Um, what you do with this, right, is so as you 
as you heat it, uh, as, as you're using your iron, right? So we're gonna turn it on in just a minute. It's gonna heat up pretty quick, right? And these are your little cleaning bristles, okay? But what they do is they scrape solder off, right? That solder remains in here. So as you use this more, when you get it, when you do this, you actually scrape off the extra, but you recoat the tip with the solder so it stays nice and silver. You, you want it to recoat so it doesn't oxidize, okay? If you don't clean this and recoat it and you do it properly, you'll get, you see how the rest of my stuff is oxidized like here? Yeah. It'll all look like that, and once it's like that, it won't transfer heat properly. How many do I do that after every tap? That's what you're gonna do. So basically what we would do is we're gonna, we're gonna start it off, because this is gonna be the next thing. So we use this resin block, right? This is something I swear by right here. This is something that Sam, you have one over there. And so you'll notice that in here, I have, this is a brand new one I started using yesterday. It's already got holes in it, like where, where I've sunk this in. Yeah. So what we do with this is, this, um, when this heats up, when we first turn it on, when it gets to the temperature we want, we're gonna go just, you know, and it'll go just with its own weight, it'll sink in there. Pull that out, you're gonna see a bunch of smoke coming. Mm -hmm. Then you're gonna go straight into here and you're gonna dab this, right? When it comes out, it's gonna be a nice shiny silver. Okay. You're then gonna take your solder and you're gonna start soldering. Okay. What you'll notice is when you get buildup on the solder, like you'll have extra solder on here, right? Immediately just go over here, a couple taps, go back. You're not going to really touch this again, okay, until you're done. Okay. Once you rest your solder, let's say you're going to take a break. We're not going to turn the solder machine off yeah. because you don't want to just turn it off and on and off and on. But what you will do is when you're done and you're resting for five minutes or you're going to do something else, you're going to dip this in here again to start the cleaning process, go back in here, okay. and then your soldering iron is going to be clean, and you can put it back in the holster, and you can come back and solder in a little bit. If you're going to be gone for consider, and I say considerable amount of time, I mean, it's like, um, if you're gonna be gone for a while, right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's say 10 minutes or so, you're not gonna solder. You can always drop the temperature of your solder iron down half if you want, okay. but don't turn it off, okay? Just with anything else, you turn it off, that means you gotta wait for it to turn back on and get it heated Does again. Does all this get hot? Yes, okay. so okay. one thing that I do wanna point out is, that's right, you can go all the way up to here, which you really shouldn't, this is like a pen. So you, oh yeah, that's right, you're left-handed. So, so you're, oh that's perfect, because your machine's there mm -hmm. for the left hand. All right, so you don't want to touch anything past here, all right? Anything that's metallic, stay away from, and try not to cross this rubber piece right here, right? So you're just gonna be like this. I mean, it's, it's real easy to just solder. It's a very quick process, okay? Are you having a hard time with that? No, I'm just making sure I can, because usually, even if I'm writing, I'm Yeah, writing well, if you do that, you're gonna lose all <laughs> so your digits. Sure right, right, oh boy. <laughs> all right, so blisters, here we go. So, um, Another thing is to make sure that your movements are quick and uh, quick in timing, but slow in removal. So, because what you don't want to do is move quick and the solder will flick. It will fly off, okay? okay? So if you have a wire on there and you're trying to, and you lift that wire and pop it, that solder is still hot, it'll pop off and fly. How do I, like, what's the time frame of me, touch, like, how long does it take for the wire to Okay, there. so you, there's a process that we're gonna have to go through, and this is another thing that we want to teach everybody. It's it's tinning, right? So you have your flux pen right here. So let's go through this real quick. So here's your flux pen. Okay, look, that's the one thing you cannot do. So even though it's not on, make it a habit to always okay. uh, put it up. All right. So and that's something, guys. I don't know if you could see that on her desk. I, I don't think you could, but she just, you know, because it's not on, she just kind of sat it down like this and went on. On or not, make it a habit. All right, please. Um, and and you, you you've got to because. As you get used to soldering, one thing that will happen is you'll forget sometimes that it's on, and next thing you know, you've burned through the desk, or you've, burned through, or you've caused a fire. So please be very careful. All right, so this is the flux pen. Again, I used Kester Flux until I found one that I liked, and um, yeah, keep it there so they can see yours as well. Uh, this is a mandatory. You cannot solder without this. You can, but it's gonna come out looking like crap. You have to use some sort of flux. Now here's a flux paste, uh, which I use sometimes and this would be for like when I put the wires in for the motors, mm -hmm. but you can still use this pen. And if you want to go quickly, because this leaves this residue on your fingers, yep. and then it, it's like to where you, nothing will stick to it, right? Sure, yeah, good. so the flux pen is easier in that way. So we're gonna tin. So when you talk about soldering, you have to pre-tin your items. And again, when I say have to, here's what I mean. I mean, you have to if you want it done right, all right? So I don't care if somebody's gonna say, well, no, you do, technically you don't. Fine, technically you don't have to breathe at a normal pace, but it's gonna bother your body. Technically, uh, you don't have to use uh, flux, but then your stuff is gonna come out looking like crap most likely. So let's just be clear. You will use the flux pen the whole time, uh, and you will, you will uh, paint it basically, color it onto each pad. It serves two purposes, okay? Flux will, uh, will help the solder adhere, right? To the, um, it'll help it adhere to the copper pads, okay? but it will also prevent the solder from running, help to prevent the solder from running from one pad to the other and avoiding a bridge, okay? If you don't use the flux, 
and you try to solder this, you could theoretically just goop it over and make a bridge. With this, the, the flux basically makes like a barrier around the copper and it's gonna hold it right there, okay? You could try to bridge it at that point. It's pretty tough to do it once you have flux on it, okay? It does leave residue on there though. You do not have to clean this off, so don't worry about it. Um, and so what we do is we pretend. So what we do is we're gonna start off by, we're using our practice board guys, and if you guys ever want one of these, we sell them on our website, they're cheap. Go into our soldering tools again, uh, and you'll find these here. We have this size, and we have a smaller size for, uh, for micro soldering. Um, so what we do is we put the flux on here, then we go and we quickly solder the pads. We just put a little bit of solder on each one. You have to move fast, like what, after you put this on? No, no, okay. this, no, not at all actually. You want this to kind of dry, okay. all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna tin it, we're gonna flux this whole, shape, whole thing, then we're gonna tin it by putting solder on the pads, not a huge amount though, yeah. okay? Because then you're also gonna tin your wire. So when you tin the wire and pre, pre. So a little bit of solder there, a little bit of solder And when you bring it together, it heats, enough. right. Because what you'll find, and a lot of people deal with this is, if you're soldering and you don't pre-tin your wire, right? Yeah. Even though the soldering iron is super hot, it needs the, um, the solder to pass the heat through. So you could be sitting there all day with a 400 degree solder iron, but if the tip is not you know, uh, touching the solder properly, it will not transfer the heat to the bottom one and melt the bottom and merge them together. So is it normal for people to, to tin both or do some people just put it on here and then try to take a clean wire? They'll try to put it on there and then take a clean wire. It won't get the same thing. And what you'll end up getting is a, a semi-melted area. And so this, the wire will not actually sink all the way down to the pad. It'll float on the top there a little bit. And so that's not how we want it. We want the wires to touch the pad and the solder to make a small dome over it, okay? So again, the biggest, one of the biggest mistakes people make is they try to over-solder pre -tin it. You don't. Solder is one of those things where the, the, I can't say the less is best, or the least is best, because you could go really too little and then you don't have a good vine. But these big mounds of solder suck, okay? So let's get started. So let's do, um, we're gonna- put this in this? Uh, okay, so to prevent these from sliding around, you can use something like these holders. There's a good and bad to these holders. The good thing is, when you've got something like this that doesn't have components in the way, you can just keep it unscrewed, right? And then just put your sliders, slide these somewhere, um, because they've got little grooves in them, right? Mm -hmm. So you're gonna basically pull back on the spring, okay. put your board in that groove right there, and then push it all the way back and bring those sliders into where this board goes into those grooves. Okay, now the board's kind of thicker than the grooves. Yeah, it's in there, right? Now is yeah. it tight? Yeah. Okay, so once it's in where, whoops, I said unscrewed mine all the way. Once it's in where it needs to be, now mine's, uh, yours, yeah, okay, so mine's a little bit uh, not as uh, fastened as yours because of the size of the groove here, but in either case, it's in. Uh, and then once it's in and you're comfortable with it, go ahead and screw down the screw, even though it's pushed it? all the way back. Yeah, screw that down, just fasten. So now we know it still could move if you put some force to it, but it's not going to go anywhere. We've got these rubber feet on the bottom. I was putting this way, by the way. But you got the, so it's not going, all right? Bear with us, guys. We've got our dogs walking back there, and so you're going to see these doors open. All right, so... Do you shake this? Or no? uh, yeah, you will shake it before you use it. Um, so, but let's go ahead and get our soldering iron on and get the heat going, all right? So we're not waiting too long. Now, um, on these, basically, guys, we're going to do like this. Whether you have a digital... Uh, um, uh, temperature gauge or you have a dial. Yours has a dial for the soldering iron and digital for the heat gun. Okay, mine is the opposite. I have a digital for my soldering iron and dial for the heat. Either way, look at the one that says solder or the switch right there, flip that on. I'm gonna flip mine on, leave the air one off and by the, on the back there's a master switch. Find the master switch to turn on as well. Okay, now uh, on your dial, Sam, your dial goes it's in, it's what, 200, 300, 400, and so forth, right? Wait, for my, for my for the soldering? For the dial, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so put it just at 400, which is going to be a little hot, but just leave it there for now. And I'm going to set mine, uh, I actually turn it a little bit down uh, so I can give you an idea there. Okay, so let's leave it around 380. So 350 is the mid-march, so that's going to be about 380 or so. That's where I'm going to leave mine as well. I will tell you this though, guys, when you are going to do a solder, like remove... Like, look at these right here, because these are the boards we're going to be working on, okay? So these are the R Charlotte's 35 uh, amp uh, 4-in-1 ESCs. The solder that factories use is usually not 6337. The solder they use is going to be, uh, well, it's not going to have any lead in it at all, really, most of the time, which means that it takes a much higher heat to melt the solder and remove these cables. So uh, when I go to remove an OEM cable or a factory cable, i got to crank that up to like 450, 
or 60 because if not, you end up heating the whole board up waiting on that solder, even if you put solder on there. So there's a different temperature when you're using, trying to remove solder from the company that mass produces it yeah. than there is if you're trying to move your own, okay? So right now you've probably reached your temperature. So let's do this first. Let's show them what happens when you do this. So take your soldering iron, okay? Now be careful because it's hot now. So go ahead and just kind of let it dip all, you're good. Let it just go in, the, in here, yep, yeah, all the way down. There you go, and now lift it up. Go straight into your uh, copper sponge. I'll remove mine so they can see what happens. Okay, you see how shiny that is right there? See how yours is? Yeah. Okay, put it down so they can see, because they'll see, yeah, right in that area. So this is what it looks like. I got um, I got my camera shooting from the top so they can see mine easier than yours. Up and down. Okay, yours right. is good right there. And you can see where you're at here, if you see that. Okay, yeah. I'll show you your table, Sam. Hold on. Uh, that's you right there, okay? okay. All right, so, uh, but you can see that it's already discoloring. Mine is, mine's turning like this brownish color now, but if I go back into the copper, it's gonna come out looking great again, okay? All right, so let's go ahead now and go ahead and put your soldering iron uh you can put your little rosin block back put your soldering iron in the holster just leave it on okay so go ahead and get your flux pen ready shake that all right and then what you're going to do is first thing you want to do is press it on the table and make sure you see liquid come out yes. okay good now that it's flowing just color oh you don't have to be like even no just color the copper in blocks the just no absolutely not all of these ones the holes no there's only copper oh you have the no yeah where are you at like these yeah, yeah, the whole thing. Uh, anything that's copper. Okay? The center circle too? Everything, sorry. everything. Okay. okay? All right, once you color it, you're done. You can put your flux pen away and give it a minute, okay? All right. Did you color it good? Do you, you, well, you, I, I, you're not trying to stay in the lines. This is your coloring about this. Just, like, just color the whole board if you have to. It didn't matter. Sure that I have oh, I think I missed that one last time. Okay, I got it. All right. <laughs> now... Here's how I recommend you solder. So you have a roll of solder right there, right? Yep. Okay, so do I. I want you to pull the solder and just get to the end of your bench right here. There. Now take your solder iron and touch it. Take your solder iron and just kind of, just quickly touch right there and separate it. There you go. That's what we're going to work with today is this amount of solder right here. Okay. okay? Now, go ahead and what we're going to do is we're going to get ready to start soldering this. So the first thing you do now is go ahead and go in the copper sponge again. Okay? Get it clean. All right, now put your solder on the first square that you want to work on. Okay. Put the, yeah, and then watch this. Ready? Watch. Just paint it real quick. Yours, but... Okay, yeah, and use the side of the soldering. There you go. Put the, put the piece on there, okay. and then just okay. paint the uh, over it. Okay, now let go. Let's see. Excellent. I got out of the copper, though. No, you're not out of the copper. You're perfectly fine. You're fine. Okay. Don't worry about it. Okay, so now look. Watch this one, okay? So watch me do this one next, okay? Ready? I'm just gonna put it here, and I'm just gonna color it real quick. And there you go, you're done. Okay. Just, but look, the hotter part of your iron is the side of the tip, not yeah. the tip itself. So, so now so, that I did this one square, do I go back to my square? No, you're still good, you're okay. still good. So now go ahead and color the next one. Yeah, try to put the solder in the middle of the square. There you go, that's it, okay? okay. And then you can do the next one. Well, you gotta you gotta keep feeding it solder as you I go. Know, okay. Hard. All right. So we're gonna go ahead now, and I'm gonna do the ground also. Okay. There you go. There you go. So look, here's the thing. You don't have to be worried about staying in the lines. That's why we put flux on here. So watch. If I just take this and I go all over the board, yeah. it's still gonna stay in that square uh -huh. because the flux keeps it in that yeah. barrier. Okay. So just don't worry about it so much. But now look, put your finger on there on the center. If the board's getting too hot that you can't hold it, you need to let the board cool down. Okay? I don't know. Yeah. Keep it up oh, it keep, yeah, because the ground is attached to all the ground. Um, and in this case, the positive is attached to all the positive. Okay? Yeah. So go ahead now and finish all the squares. Uh, can I move my little guy? Like, you can do whatever you want. Make it, yeah, especially if you're left handed, put it the way you want it for left handed. Okay? I mean, I'm not going to lie, but I think. I think you are too. I, I mean, that's top notch soldering. Yeah, okay, so what I want you to practice on, it is good, but I want you to practice on filling your square. Okay, okay. like I tell people you don't have to, but if you want to get really good at it, just make okay. sure you fill it. But don't like go higher. You're doing great on height, you're not wasting it. That's the best part. But just try to get the square colored in. Good. 
Keep going. Nice job. And then when you're done, I'm gonna wait for you, okay? When you get done with that. Already done? Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. I got two more squares. Okay. Oh wait. You're good. Yeah, you're good. I, I'm watching how long you're holding. You're not holding it long on there, so you're good. Okay. You're doing very good, actually. Hard to get okay, blow. While you're doing that, blow. No, no, don't blow on the solder. You don't want to cool it. Okay. Blow the smoke away from you, okay? Not now. When you're in here and it's coming, just go blow it up so okay. you're not blowing on the solder, okay? Okay, so that's what I was going to say. Now that you're done at this point, yep. go ahead and use the copper brush, and there you go. So you're back to normal. Now what I want you to do is it's going to be a little bit trickier. I want you to solder the outer circle, okay? okay. And then solder the inner circle, and then solder the star. Start with the outer circle first, okay? Okay. No, no, don't tap it. Run it. Like run the soldering iron along the circle itself. You don't have to lift it off. Just run it as you know quickly. Like take it down the track. Just keep it down pressed and run it. The iron. There you go. Okay. So what I'm trying to tell you is when you're down there, take the solder and just follow it one lap. Okay. You don't have to lift it up and down and up and down. Okay. Because it's still one continuous thing. You good. Okay. Now focus on the inner circle. There, I ran mine. Now fold it down and just run it. Like fold it and run. Go. There you go. Just like that. Well, you need to keep the solder in front of the iron. Ah, I see. Okay. Now do my star. Okay. Well, yeah, I guess so. Okay. So let's do the star. Okay. Let's not push it. Okay. All right. Now let's see what you got. I'm really impressed with my work. Okay. Let me see your work. All right. So clean off the soldering iron like you just did. Excellent. All right. So here's what we got. Here's a comparison. Mine? No, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, 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 I'm not saying that at all. I'm actually proud of you, hold on. Just let me let me get rid of this here. All right, so here's what we got, right? So there's mine. He's got a little wild in the circle. Okay, so yeah, the circle looks a little bumpy, right? Yeah. And you still got some squares that are open here, okay? But look how good that square turned out, and that one. And they did, you're right. So what you wanna do now is you come in and you just basically clean it up, okay? okay. So you see how, you see how I'm not worried about, now you see these flex coming off? Yeah. You have to pay attention to those because that's where my customers will usually not notice those and they'll fall between a, a circuit yeah. and that'll cause it to ground out. And they're like, well, I didn't do anything. And like, no, you really did. Um, all right, so as far as your circle goes, I'm just gonna try to, there's a ton of solder on here. All right, and that's bridging it. So I'm gonna try to scoop this bridge off. Oh, I know, that's fine, that's fine. Okay. I'm gonna scoop it off. Right, like that, yeah. okay? So now the, the bumps are gone. Here, I'll get mine off here, that's not right. Solder's really easy to manipulate, okay? So you don't have to worry about that. Then you can come through and clean up the little specks that you got, mm -hmm. and it looks great. But what the, what I wanna point out by using this flux is, if you're here and you're trying to run, you can't run it. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's stopping, all right? So that makes up. That's so you did cool. You did an excellent job. Thanks. I think yours looks great, and that's a great start, all right? So now if you want, you can, wipe the board down or do whatever, but this is this is all we're gonna be doing. Okay. So now let's go ahead and get started. Good God, there you go. So there's yours, let's save that, let's yeah. frame that. That's your first time to solder, congratulations. All right, excellent work. So let's get back to it now, so, um, huh? Yeah. All right, one, two, and three. So here we go. All right, Sam, so here's what we're gonna do. Take your piece back now, all right? And uh, let's save these two, put them both together. Save those, all right, nice work. All right, now your solder iron's still hot. Uh, it's, it should be good. So now what we want to do is take yourself one ESC, okay. and I'm going to take one also. Now, if you want to use the piece to hold it, you're more than welcome to, but here's where you have to be careful. When you put this piece on here, you do not want it pressing into a chip. I because think the, it might be easier if I hold it. Is that what I'm saying? You're not going to hold it while you're soldering. No, like if I... Like yeah, you could put it on the bench. Spin, that's I right. kind of spin it around. That's fine. That's a, that's a good... Wait, I already soldered these. Yeah, so the one which ones didn't I do? There's a few on this, and I don't think that you did I think I may have done them all. No, this Yeah, I think I did these all. Um, but, not. oh, it's not done? No, that Okay, well, then let's that, make that yours. Okay. So remember the steps. First step, put your flux pen on there and flux it up. But what side am I doing? Okay, so in this build, we're actually going to do this side. So the side one? Yeah. Okay. So lay that down on the table. And since I've already done mine, I'm just gonna put the camera on you, uh, and uh, there. So go ahead. Do I, okay, and I just do I run it across all of them, or do you make, like, make, do like a dot, or just is it a picture? 
just yeah. color it. Just okay. yeah, this is really you're really just coloring it, okay? okay. You're not going to end up putting too much on there, so it's, you can't really ruin it that way. Okay. All right, now you have your solder still ready, right? And you, one thing you want to do is just save your solder. If you, you'll always end up with extra. Like I've got these strands, yeah. And so you just always save them because they're always helpful. All right. Okay. So what you're going to do now is you're going to you have one second per square. That's all it should take. If it takes you more than a second, get off the square and come back to it. And, and it's not like one, that's not a second. We'll say one Mississippi and then move on. One Mississippi. Okay, the, the word Mississippi, not Mississippi. Okay, there you go. There you go. Now go all of them the same way. That's why I said blow that way. Okay, yeah, leave the solder on the square. There you go. Leave the next one. Yeah, so pull your solder away before you pull the iron away. Okay. okay. That's not that's, that No, put a little bit more. There you go. Excellent. Excellent. Stop lifting the solder in there. There you go. Just, you don't have to lift the solder and tap it, okay? Okay. You just want to feed the thing in there. You can lift it, but not like three, four times. Just, but you're doing great, actually. So just whatever you're doing right now, Keep it up and you'll fine tune it and then you go. And that little cooking, that little boiling you heard, that's the flux that's still wet that's on there that's just getting hot. Okay, don't let my thumb get hot. Don't blow on the solder either. Okay, you need to go back because you left all those more baking. Ow! Just kidding. Good job. <laughs> that is kick ass right there. I mean, this is amazing. This is great. Excellent work. Everything's covered pretty well. Yeah. All right. And what will happen is you see how you have these. You see how you have these open a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Two things. Do not blow on the solder. You did that earlier. Okay. Because what you'll do is it'll be a cool. Uh, it'll 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 uh, harden cool and it can just be pulled off then at that point. Okay. okay. It needs to uh, cool on its own at the temperature normal yeah. temperature. Now, you've done this part. So I say, like, save it. Put it right here and save that. Okay. Right. Now that you've done that part, we're now doing the next part is we're both doing it at the same time. Mm -hmm. So let's do that. Okay. So here's what we've got. I'm gonna give you, uh, we're gonna do a black wire. Okay. Okay, so you take a black wire. Okay. I'm gonna take a black wire. Now, if you look at this wire right here, you're gonna see it's already tinned. Oh, you notice? Sweet. No, that's not sweet. Oh, because okay. the tinning that they use, I told you the factory tin, is a higher temperature. There's no way you're gonna get that to melt at what we've got our iron set to. Okay. It's impossible, okay? So it'll take too long. You'll burn your hand of the cable first. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna tin this wire. Even add though it's tin, solder. we're gonna add more solder okay. because our solder on here will heat up their solder and cause everything to sink in together. Okay. But to do that, you're gonna grab your helping hands. That's what this is right here, okay? Now, when I'm doing a, a build, I don't usually use these, but we want to teach people the right yeah. way. Two things, guys, if you're gonna use helping hands. First, uh, as you can see, can you hand me, oh, no, that's already, that's already done. What I recommend to you guys is please get some heat shrink and go over the metal clamps at the end so it doesn't puncture the wire, okay? So you'll notice we have heat shrinks on both of these here. All right, so turn your, uh, if you're left-handed, I don't know how you're gonna do left-handed, how you, easier for you, but this is how I do it. So I'm gonna put the wire in, right? Oh, sorry, take that out first, I apologize. Uh, first thing I want you to do is go ahead and put your flux pen and just kind of run it on that little mat, just a little bit, uh, but roll the wire around so you get the whole thing covered, okay? All right, now put it in your clamp there. Okay, get your soldering iron. Um, a yeah, you. Uh, yeah, oh, that's fine. Whatever. Okay, now look. Um, you have that thing standing straight up. That's not what you want because you don't want the, the excess solder to fall ah. on the device. Put it safely where it can fall on the mat. Okay. So this is a silicone mat. It's not going to burn. Okay. Yeah. Now what you're going to do is simple. You're gonna, oh, my soldering iron is just all kinds of not silver right now. Hold on, I need to clean it. Okay. What you're gonna do now is you're gonna just basically bring the solder and the iron together and just wrap it around that cable till you get your solder on there. So it needs to be around the whole cable? Well, just like that, it's gonna go on its own. You good with that? I think so, Okay, yeah. now look at my soldering iron. You see how that, all that excess solder sitting right there on yeah. the tip? That's where I'm gonna go into my copper and clean that off and it's gone, okay? Yeah. Hey, listen, shouldn't be there, Sorry. bazooka Bob. <laughs> Don't hammer this thing, you're gonna break the tip. Okay. All right, now rack that up. Put your soldering iron up. Okay, take this out. Okay, so the way we're going to do these wires, right, is we're going to do a pattern of black, yellow, red. Okay, yellow's in the center. Black's going to be on the outside. So of black, yellow, red, and then red, black, yellow. Like, is it... Okay, you had it right, except 
red, yellow, black on the way down. Black, yellow, red, red. So the reds are going to be in the center. Reds are always going to be in the center. Yeah. No, but yeah, but when I say center, I mean the center of the three. That's yellow, okay? So okay. these are four channels, right? Channel one, the outside will always be black, the inside will always be red, and the center will always be yellow. So these four right here are going to be yellow. There's no four. One, two, There's, three, Oh, yes, four. that's right. That's and then right. one, two, three, four, no, red. No, no, do it no. again. No. So these two yellow? No. No. Okay, so when I, outside are all the outside pins, right? Yeah. Inside are all the inside pins. Center are all the pins in between the outside and the inside pins. Oh, I'm thinking these two are center. No, no, no. Okay. So that's inside, center, outside. Okay, so blacks, right? Yep. And then what did you say? Center, yellows. Center, yellows, and then two reds. Right. So red, 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 yellow, yellow, black, black. Yes. Okay, okay. okay so now you need to get your tweezers for this next part. Okay. okay, because the cable will get hot. Okay? Now what we want to do here, Sam, is... We're gonna take the tweezers and no, you, no, 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 no. Sure. Okay. What I want you to do is I want you to grab the wire like you're gonna hold it when you're gonna solder. Okay. Well, hold it the same for your solder okay. So, but here's the deal: don't leave too much of a gap because the wire will actually push up then, okay. and you won't be able to get it to sink okay. down. That, like that, yeah. Okay. Now, don't let it go past the tweezers either. Keep it at the edge because okay. if your tweezers hit the table while you're trying to put it on, you won't be able to push it down. Okay. So now, you're doing it left-handed, I'm going to do it right-handed. We're going to go to the outside pin, okay? Clean out, yeah, clean off your soldering iron. And what you're going to do is, here, you're not going to press too hard because you don't want to spread the wire out. The heat and the weight and a little bit of pressure will get this to go just fine, okay? So just go ahead and do that. And it should go on pretty easy. Don't tap it. Hold it and go. No, don't let go of the wire. No, grab that back. You can't do that. So, okay. so heat it up and lift the wire back off. Don't tap it. There you go. If you're tapping, it's going to hurt it, okay? okay? So you want to hold the wire right about here, just okay. like that. Okay? Take that on there. Hold it. That's, if that's how you hold it, that's fine. Do not let go of the wire. Get it down there and then lift the soldering iron off. Good. Now let go. Done. Is that okay? It's okay, but you lifted the soldering iron off. And went back down again. Okay. Just one movement and then okay. off. Okay. Should I redo it? No, it looks good. You got okay. it. Will it work? It will work perfect. I promise you. All right. So now let's go to the let's go to the yellow one. Okay. So here's your yellow. I'm gonna take the yellow and don't forget you gotta tin it first. So you gotta put your flux on there. Well, normally you would have already tinned all of them. You yeah. know what I mean? And so then you just go through the movement. But uh, I put solder again on the wire, right? Yeah, that's tinning it. So now you're gonna tin it. Helping hands. Oh, I better move my board over there. Yes, you don't want to do that over the board. And you, yeah, exactly. Okay. Now, bring your board back. Okay. Pick up the yellow and look. You, a stickler for everything to be perfect. Yeah. You need to make sure your wires are straight. Don't go crooked on one. Okay. okay. So get it as straight as you can. And remember now. Keep the solder on there, the iron on there, until you get all the way down. Then let go, and then let go of your tweezers. Uh -oh. Okay, first of all, you're holding it. Okay, you see how you're doing this? If you're, you've got this angle going up. Stop. Why is that no, because you're going up now. Um, you need to hold it like this. Okay. Okay, not like this, because your hand is going to hit the cable first. So there you go. Lift it back up. Okay, okay now... Just put it, before you put the soldering iron on there, just put the wire on there. Okay. Rest the iron on top of it. You want to go a little past it. There you go. Okay, let go. Okay. So try to aim. It came out great. Okay. Try to aim for five millimeters behind where you're touching. Okay. Okay, because it's much hotter behind it. Behind okay. okay? That's excellent, though. It looks great. All right? Okay. So it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a smooth movement. Now do your red. Grab your red. Okay, put your flux on there, bring your helping hands. And what's it called when you put solder on there? Tinning. Excellent. Clean off your soldering iron. Oh, you're going really fast. No, 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 I'm just saying, I'm, I'm gonna wait for you. Don't, hey, stop hammering it in there. Okay, now look. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, I thought you were through. Okay. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It doesn't help when you tap it. All right, now 
take the wire. No, but again, leave it to where it's at the end of the, uh, the tweezers. There you go. Okay. okay? Put this here. There you go. Holy cow. I think you just kicked butt. Oh, my God. That's perfect. Guys, I'm going to lie to you. i got, I got to show you this. I mean, this is her first time to solder in her life, and I've I'm, I'm got to tell you how proud I am. Look. Look how perfect that is. Exact amount of solder. And that last one, I didn't say anything. She just went in there and did it, and it's perfect. And these aren't coming off. I mean, I'm knocking the heck out of these. Here, I'll show you what I did. I was helping a guy once do some soldering, and I said, well, here's, don't do the dance. Please don't Sorry. do the dance. It's in the happy go moment. I'm proud of myself. But look, look, watch, right? Okay, you wanna see? Look at it, you're holding on. Perfect, all right? Yay. So there you go, you did it, babe. So now, you've got 30 to go, which means that you have 30 times uh, uh, 12 can wires, I, so you have 300. Can I do my, can I do the fluxing on my wires first? I like to do it, like, rather than doing one at a time. Of course, that's why I said it's better, okay. usually you'll have that done. So what I'll do is I'll help you. Okay. Um, but you only want to do as many as we need. Is this all that we needed, or were we in short on some of these that for was, school? That was it. That was it. Okay, more. so look, you need, what did we have? We had 19, I think. Plus this one, is just 20. 20. There's 51 hits. Okay, so you needed 20 red, or no, sorry. You have 20, and then you have four of each color. Yeah. So you need 80 red, 80 black, and 80 yellow. So why don't you take all the red, okay. and I'll do all the black, okay? I'll do all the yellow first. You're a woman. Do anything you want to do. Okay, I'm done. Alright. So let me write these up real quick. Okay, so now they need to be tinned. So you tell me what do you want to do and what do you want me to do? I want to just like can I just tin all the wires first, like get that done? Okay, so you, oh, you wanna do you want me to tin these? Well yeah, I mean I can split those with no, you. It's up to you. I'll, 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 okay. okay. <laughs> I'm not. Uh, no, I didn't. I didn't I didn't. I didn't. Okay, okay yeah, I'm so, start doing my red one. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get my soldering iron on. All right, now, you do them the way I showed you. I'm going to do them a little bit of a different way. Does that hurt your brain? Okay. Okay. So you good? Okay, get your soldering iron set up. All right. How do I know when it's heated? Uh, when that light turns off. You're gonna do the same routine every time. Okay, you put in the resin block. Oh, you know what? Mine's gone crazy again. Okay. I gotta wait for mine. It's kind of going crazy. Here it goes. No yeah, don't tap. Still waiting for mine. I just turn it on. So give me a second. I've got this like little group down here. Don't worry about it. Okay, mine's about ready. next with you uh, and how many of these do you want me to do or do you want to do them all what is your thing on that well I want to I mean I can do them all it's gonna take me a long time but if you have something else to work on I can no do it's it. up to you I mean like I, I'm here to help you if you want uh, but you know if you want me to if you want me to help you do some of these I will if you want me to not do some of these I'm gonna turn my soldering iron off can you just do one so I can have something yeah. to look at color wise you got it and then I'll do this you got it uh, which ones have you tinned can I I need four of them please 
Perfect. Thank you. It's fine. It'll be fine, I'm sure. Relax. save them. I put them in here. You see? Like I have this little area up here. And oh. I just store them there. What can you use them for? To finish one last wire or something. I'm really, you know me, I afford everything. So it's like I don't want to let stuff go to trash because then I feel like I'm wasting money. So, But some of them, I mean, I'll end up like that's too close or I can't use it. Alright, so there you go. There's one ESC that's completely done. Okay. Looks like a, looks, it looks good. Looks good exactly what we want so I'll leave that for you to use as your example yeah okay and then I've got the solder wires here Finished? Yeah. All right, guys. Well, that was one hour and oh, two hours. One hour and fifty-eight minutes. You did an awesome job. That's they not look bad. great. They look great. Yeah. They look, let me see. Yeah. I mean, guys. Decent. Look how good this is. That's her first time soldering, and she did twenty of these. I got it. Nice. So, uh, hopefully you guys, uh, I know we fast forwarded the whole thing. You see me working on the radio right now, so I'm going to come back to that, to your video. Let's do a live build tonight. Okay. How, Sweet. how late? Doesn't matter. <laughs> so you guys, listen, if you have any questions, please uh, head on over to our uh, YouTube group, or sorry, our Facebook group channel right there. And then, as always, uh, follow us on Facebook and subscribe to our YouTube channel below. And uh, other than that, God bless, be safe. It is 431 on Sunday. Go spend time with your family, guys. You never know how much time you have left, so go make the most of it. As for me and Sam, well, we're going to get ready to, we're going to eat, right? Oh, there's one of our dogs. That's a uh, wonton right there. And then Low Main is running around and Noodles is somewhere else as well. So from us to you guys, enjoy your Sunday. God bless, be safe, and we will see you soon. Say bye, Sam. Bye. Say bye, wonton. <laughs> <laughs>